Vietnam era tiger stripe <clears throat> and how I got this look. First, we Dura coated these mags with Dura coat cooler green. Some of these strips I tore individually with my fingers, but most of them I would make a tear, put it down, put the rest of the tape down, and then tear away what I didn't want with these fine tweezers. The only way to get this ragged edge is to tear it. You can't cut it, you can't, you have to tear it to get this type of texture. And after a while, you get to where you can tear out the parts that you want, and eventually, it looks like that. And you're good to go. Vietnam era tiger stripe, original. Rattle can's easy. Once you get your stencils on there, One light coat. One light coat. You can always come back and do it again. Now we'll let that dry and put a second coat on. And the big reveal. What does the tiger stripe look like? Okay, get out of there. He he just stepped in some of those pieces of tape and he got them on his feet. Now he's doing the helicopter thing. <laughs> I told you not to come over here, Slick. I think that's it. All right. So there's Vietnam era tiger stripe, cooler green. That's how you put it on and take it off and get those cool ragged edges. You just cannot get that any other way. You have got to tear the tape. Tear one side, press it down, press the other side down and then tear away what you don't want. Easy peasy. The old one compared to the new one, you can definitely tell. I left more green on the new one. It's shinier. But I think I like the pattern on the old one better. That one's 15 years old. But either way, they're both Vietnam era tiger stripe. Yeah. FX, baby. <laughs>